Hey guys, hope you're all doing great. Uh, first of all, today we want to thank the top supporters of our channel, Chirant and Devika, who have gifted us a beautiful tripod, camera stand and accessories, which have made our shooting sessions even more smooth and enjoyable. And also thank you to all the new subscribers. We really appreciate your support. And if you have any recommendations or suggestions, please feel free to let us know in the comments. Like a lot of you out there, I had been feeling low for the past couple of days and I felt like journeying back to a time where, you know, things were much simpler and life was really beautiful. High school. So the book I picked out this week, The Kissing Booth. Oh, don't worry, I'm not giving out any spoilers for the second part. I know a lot of you are waiting for the Netflix movie that's coming out next week. Uh, so the author of this book, Beth Rekels, started publishing this book when she was in high school on Wattpad and uh, it became so popular that she then developed it into a full-length novel and published it and now a series of books have come up. So the main storyline, the characters, the relationship between the characters is all introduced in the first book. So in the first book, uh, we see the protagonist L is best friends since forever with Lee. Uh, they go to the same high school and also their families are also really close. And since L has lost her mother, Lee's mother is also like a motherly figure to her. So everything is nice and happy until L falls in love with her best friend Lee's brother, Noah. She's always had a crush on him, but it becomes serious at one point and he falls for her too, but then there's a problem because Elle and Lee have come out with some rules when they were younger and um, one of the rules actually entails that they're not supposed to date each other's family members and that kind of uh, makes everything fall apart between Elle and Lee and Elle and Noah and a lot of things happen, but it ends up in a happy ending until Noah has to go away to Harvard to another state, leaving Elle behind. That, that's how things end in the first book. Uh, so the second book is obviously the continuation of the first, but the difference I found between the two books is like the first book is a little simple. It's kind of introductory, so it is cute and humorous and very light. But a lot of things are actually explained in the second book, like why Lee is so offended with Elle dating her brother. No, uh, apparently there are some underrooted issues between the Flynn brothers, Lee and Noah, which we discover in the second book. The second book mostly addresses the challenges in a long distance relationship. Reading this book made me realize there was a time uh, before technology and social media when uh, two drifted apart souls actually wrote letters to each other and how there arose complications and that distance due to uh, due to lack of communication but today that's not an issue anymore there's a lot of advancement in technology and social media uh, so there is no lack of communication anymore yet there are challenges happening in long distance relationship and I think that is because of miscommunication. Due to the extent of today's di digital media, many long distance partners are literally stalking each other all the time, wanting to know where he or she is, who she or he is with and this frequently happens that before you hear from your partner, there are a lot of other people talking about your partner that uh, there he was or there she was and that's who he or she was with. So that leads to a lot of trust issues and that huge bridge between the two partners that we can see in the second book and how they overcome that or if they overcome that. Also, there are some new characters introduced in the second book. Uh, also, in the first part, uh, we could see how Elle was stuck between her best friend and her boyfriend and she had to make a choice. But in the second book, uh, she feels both of them are actually ignoring her and she feels lost and left out like her boyfriend who is in another state in college 
uh, she feels he's avoiding her and he's there's a separate life going on with him and also her best friend Lee is planning to go to a college with his girlfriend uh, ditching their plan of going to college together uh, during the end of second book especially things got really interesting and at one point I was like wait what so you have to give it a read I think you'll enjoy it Reading these books also made me realize how life was so much simpler back then in high school when all we had to worry about were friendships, relationships, crushes, fun, cool, school activities and all this cute stuff. But at the same time, it also made me realize how we used to take very simple, silly things so seriously and how we were so insecure about ourselves and how we cared so much about being judged by others and how those validations were really important to us. So I'm not recommending these books only to the teenagers. I think all age groups will really enjoy it. Uh, and it will also make you think about your high school and student days. Also to make things more interesting, comment below what were your biggest joys and pet peeves back in high school. Hope you enjoyed this video. For more such videos, like, share and subscribe to our channel. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.